Hi and welcome. Welcome to a time to take care of yourselves. And I know most of us are kind of new to the yoga practice and, and hopefully you already have felt that, that it is a time in a place, in a moment to take care of you. Because if we don't take care of ourselves, what, how do we take care of anybody else? So thank you, thank you for carving out this space and time for you to take care of yourself. I thank you, your body will thank you, your mind will thank you, your spirit will thank you. Thank you for kind of like coming back home, you know, when you open the door and, and hopefully we all have some place to come home to, yeah, wherever it may be, but there's almost a feel as there, there's an exhale. I, I feel whatever, yeah, you know, I'm up and out and I can, ah, it's like, yes, I'm home. You put things down, you put your backpack down, your, your coat, your water bottle, whatever it may be, your keys, and you put things down. So I invite you, the next time you come home, to a structural place or, or where you might be living or where you might be visiting. Yeah, just notice for a moment, a breath or two, what it feels like when you're home, when you put things down. Yeah, it's just a feeling and it's an observation. It's a noticing, it's being mindful. So let's continue to notice, to feel, to be mindful uh, as we continue our practice. So, yep. Come to a nice uh, place, <laughs> hopefully, yeah. Um, I, I noticed um, animals, I think I mentioned this even earlier in another class, that animals love uh, when you practice your yoga. And, and what are yoga postures? Downward dog. I mean, you're, they're, they're taking from nature, tree pose, it's, it's from nature. So our yoga practice helps us also to Come back home to our nature. Ah, so yeah, lying down a familiar beginning, just so we, you know a little bit maybe what to expect, but every day is different. Have you noticed? Every moment, if you practice in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, it feels different. If you practice on a Tuesday and then you practice again on a Friday, it's a little different. Yeah, because our bodies are changing and minute by minute, really. So to have something familiar, I think is important. So you, ah, you're not so concerned. Oh, what are we doing now? What are we, it's, oh yeah, we're coming back home. Okay, so on the mat we go, ah, feet to the earth. Yeah, maybe a little wiggle of your toes connecting not only to your floor, <laughs> the foundation, but the earth's energy. That, that vibrates, as you know. Um, uh, amazingly, when it is, when the earth is calm also, it vibrates at the same frequency as your mind when in your brain, when under a meditation. So as we connect to nature, to our mother earth, Ah, the science is there that that helps us also become more grounded, more stable. Mm, and then maybe next week we'll talk more about the energies within our seven major energy centers and how bringing that back to balance can help us physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. So I invite you, feel the earth beneath your feet. I believe there's an old song from the 70s about that. Hmm, and you might imagine, you know, this earth energy just moving upward to your legs and up to your spinal column and up through the crown. And ex yeah, let's exhale <laughs> the energy back down the body, maybe cleansing. The earth loves to recycle, loves to cleanse, loves to clean. Let it cleanse any tension away down to the legs, back down into the feet. Hmm. 
and then inhale. You might imagine your inhale, drawing the energy all the way up. The exhale, ah, yeah, maybe a gentle sigh, just letting go, letting go of truly whatever does not serve you well. Let each breath cleanse, each breath heals. Feel the breath inhaling, expanding. Yep, our inhale is still expanding from the navel center. Yeah, the sides of the waist, the lower back, the middle torso expands, the upper torso, the exhale. Ah, maybe a gentle sigh. Yeah, just letting that energy release, cleanse. Ah, and now if you will, just place your hands upon the belly. And feel this breath. Yeah, be this breath. Now, sometimes the three-part breath, it does take a little bit of practice. It may already be, oh, yeah, very comfortable. It may still feel a little, oh, yeah, what does she want us to do? But it does take a little time sometimes, especially if you're continuing to upper chest breathe. And that's your normal. Remember, just upper chest breathing stimulates your sympathetic nervous system. And that's a good thing if you need to run away from danger. That's a good thing when your blood pressure rises and, and all the blood flow goes to your muscles rather than your digestion and because you need to run away fast. However, if there is no danger and, and you're in a safe place and you're still upper chest breathing, then yeah, you're kind of fighting against yourself. So if you do really want to come back home to your center, to find more peace and calm, mentally, emotionally, physically. Ah, here we go. Three part breath, starting low in the belly. Then the middle torso expands, then the upper. The exhale out through the nose or gently out through the mouth. Relax the abdomen down. Yeah. And feel that again at your own breath timing. I know I'm kind of saying when to breathe in and out, but you, you feel what's best for you. Absolutely, what's comfortable. But do expand on the belly, on the inhale. Feel the lower lung, lower lobes of the lungs. Feel the middle, the upper. The exhale softening, let the back rest upon the earth. See, yeah, they're still connected to earth energy. And just slow it down a bit. Magically, when you bring your mindfulness to your breath, it, it does slow down a bit. Have you noticed? Yeah, feel the breath softening any tension away. Yeah, you might notice or you might already know, yeah, my hamstrings a little hurt or my back or my neck. Yeah, you might even acknowledge where your body is talking to you already. Notice it, feel it, honor the body's message. From the skin inward, now we focus, bringing our attention there. For where your attention goes, energy flows. So yeah, if there is a place, you know, that needs a little special attention to bring a little more energy to flow there. Yeah, this is a good time. And if everything is feeling, oh, just 100%, yeah, just let every cell breathe. Every cell feel this nurturing energy. And another exhale. Ah, gently out through the mouth. Time to get everything a little more moving. So let's stretch again, right arm, left leg, or right arm, right leg. Actually, if it feels better, opposite arm and leg, yeah, see how that feels. That might feel a little more stretchier or a little, a little different. So it could be same arm, same leg, or opposite arm. And leg. Ah, already variations of the thing. Personally, I, I like to feel my side stretch. So I'd love to feel that opposite line of energy on the same 
side. So as you stretch and arm and leg, yeah, just feel the openness, the length. If it is same arm, same leg, I mean, on the same side, yeah, your opposite side can lift as we've done before. Another deep breath. To then stretch both arms, both legs, circling wrists, circling ankles. And I yawn. Mm, and then floating arms and legs up to the sky. Just give them a nice shaking up, a shaking up. Yeah, you can be a little more vigorous or maybe not so vigorous as I'm checking uh, this right here. Um, um, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Teaching online, yes, I have to check <laughs> these little posts that come up sometimes. And sometimes I don't notice them. Anyway, are you still shaking? Yes, you are, good for you. <laughs> Your body will thank you as well. And when the feet and the arms do return, ah, do you feel the buzz, the tingling? Yeah, that is every time I might mention and guide you to do this, yeah, that increases your awareness of energy flow. Yeah, so the practice increases that awareness. So right thigh again. Okay, right thigh up, up and draped over the chest. Uh, nice stretch. Other leg long. Ah, are you breathing? Yes. Oh, good. Slow and deep. Hmm, well, again, whether out through the nose or out through the mouth. Cupping hand upon the knee. Now let's open this thigh out to the side, inner thigh nicely stretching. But remember, opposite hip down, principle of opposite line of energy, creating more space, more stretch, more energy to flow. This leads nicely into the circling of the leg, of the thigh. <laughs> Remember to pause the movement where there is tightness, tension. That's telling you, uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> there is some tightness there. So you honor that message. You breathe there. You soften it. All the little, or the little erasing movements. Yesterday, I also mentioned you can even let go of the clasp around the knee. If you wish to circle maybe a little wider than your arms long. <laughs> Reversing, as I've mentioned. Yeah, reversing the circle anytime that we rotate a joint around. Please reverse the circle when it feels comfortable for you. Or maybe going back to the first. Yeah. Notice the back, lovingness. Buttocks, hip, inner thigh, outer thigh. And gently back to center when ready. To continue now ankle over the knee, which we did not do yesterday. So yeah, let's take this today. We're gonna lift the bottom thigh up. Maybe weave then if your right ankle is over, weave that right arm right through to clasp the back of the left knee or in front. Some of us might not be able to lift the bottom leg up. And that's where you could put a little folded towel on the bottom of your foot or even a strap around the back of the knee. Yep. It's all good. As long as you're feeling a little stretch somewhere and it feels comfortable. There's no right or wrong. It's just, just what feels comfortable and, and not so comfortable. <laughs> so we breathe, we soften where we feel the stretch. To stretch a little further, you can roll the thighs a little to the left as you look to the right. And visualize your powerful visualization. As I put in Canvas, the quote of Einstein, your imagination is much more powerful than your knowledge. Yeah, and there's different ways of that, a quote being mentioned. So yeah, we visualize the hip that's stretching, reaching further away, away from the waist, out through the hip, more space. And then you might just roll side to side, roll in the head in the opposite direction of the thigh or any other variation you know. If this feels good, yeah, continue, or maybe pause right in center again. 
Oh, knee out to the side. Deep breath in. Exhale the breath right where you feel that tightness and soften. Feel, see it melt away the tension. And when you're ready, come back to center, left leg down, you yawn your working leg, most of it up, the right leg up to the sky with a nice ankle rotation. How are your ankles today? How are your feet, your toes? How are all those 7,000 nerve endings? <laughs> a deep breath in, deep breath out. Yeah, maybe reversing the circle. How are your calves, your shins? And where is your breath? You might inhale and then exhale to flex the foot as if truly the heel is truly reaching up to the beautiful blue sky. Mm, and soften now, soften the back, the jaw. Oh, hamstrings a little tight. Yeah, mine are too a little bit. Yeah, so then please shake it all out. Again, let the energy to flow. We also rubbed, yeah, this is another wonderful technique. Just like when you're cold, yeah. We also uh, tapped with a loose fist or fingertips or cupping the hand up and down, all the way to the inner outer heel, the knee. Sometimes the knee likes to be tapped on the side and then front to back too, yeah. And when you are about ready to go into the reclining hamstring stretch of it all with a strap, as I mentioned yesterday, to choke up on the strap and then relax shoulders. Those that are more flexible, first your fingers wrapping around that big toe, thumb on the outside, and then relax the shoulder down. Or maybe just a gentle clasp above or below the knee. I mentioned, especially in the beginning of our semester, make sure the back of the knee feels safe, okay? If it feels too tight, too strained, I would bend the knee a little bit. And then eventually stretch it, straighten, dance, yeah. At your own timing, we honor, yeah, the sensations. And even in hamstrings too, we honor the edge. The edge keeps us safe. If we go too fast, too fast, too soon, uh, yeah, then there might be a discomfort. <laughs> so we honor it. We honor the right effort. Kind of like the Goldilocks principle, not too much, not too little, but just right. So we breathe a little more. Oh, stretch the bottom leg long. We soften. I invite you to close your eyes. Relax your jaw as you exhale in a gentle sigh. Relax your neck. That relaxes the back. Back relaxes, then, oh yeah, hamstring. Hmm. Any other variation you may know. Still feel the length out through the crown out through the tailbone, down into the supporting leg, whether it's bent or straightened. Mm, and soften again. It takes a little while for the stretch reflex to calm down. Or when you first stretch a muscle, it does tighten. That's to protect yourself. If you slip on that banana peel and you overstretched your hamstring, Everything tightens up <laughs> to brace your fall. Yeah. And it takes a while for the nervous system to know, oh yeah, you're safe. It's okay to stretch. That's why we also breathe slow and deep into the belly first. That stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system. Yeah, the science of it all. Oof. So we've been stretching for a while. What about strengthening into um, well the new sit-up pose for this? semester. Uh, yeah, some of you already know it. You can go right into it. For those that are new to this second sit-up pose, yeah, feel the support first of the standing foot. You wiggle the spine long on your inhale. The exhale draws the navel in as you reach up to your ankle. Feel the core very active here. You might not get to the ankle. Some might get to the foot. Some might get to the calf. It's all good. As long as you're 
still inhaling, but exhaling with a little more vigor into that sit up posture. Exhale, maybe with a ah. Now, if you need a little more room, you can lift the supporting left foot or hover the left leg. You feel is that, is that good? Now the quads are more active too. An arm variation, you might cross the wrists and then elbows way out to the side. That opens the upper back a little more, back of the heart. And now the breath. Another exhale into your courage, your inner strength. And an inhale when ready. Yes, supporting foot down. And exhale, lift the leg a little higher as you roll the back down. Extra hamstring stretch. And let's just shake this leg out today. Ah, once again, energy flows down to the legs, into the feet. Notice difference, right leg, left leg. So let's transfer the weight then to the, most of us, the right foot, right leg supporting you to Draw your second thigh out, up, and then draped over. Oh, yeah, we're just draping. We're not pressing. We're not pulling. We're allowing. So, again, I invite you close your eyes and feel the letting go, the softening. Time to let go of all the busyness of the day and just be. This is the gift. It's just to be, to be in this moment, to enjoy. Ah, letting go, enjoy just being. Ah. You can stretch your supporting leg long. It gives a little more, a little more stretch. Hmm, it's just reminding us, yeah, to be our yoga rather than to do it. Yeah. So as we open this thigh off to the side, yeah, I like to bend the bottom knee again because then it's easier to keep that hip down as I open. Yeah. My pause here is a little tight, maybe a little erasing movements here, like those big pink erasers in elementary school. And then circling slowly, whether your hand is cupped around the knee or not, you might do a little bit of both, see how that feels. And it's an exploration. And as you know, I call this a yoga journey because it is a journey, it's a process. It's a, with curiosity, we explore within what feels good, what isn't, what, what needs a little release today. <laughs> Reverse the circle slowly. Yeah, I feel the lower back lovingness. Ooh, or maybe there's a place that it doesn't. The buttocks nicely stretched, released, hip joint, inner thigh, outer thigh. Another breath. And exhale, thigh drapes over the chest for the ankle and over the supporting knee. Keeping the knee out to the side as much as possible to draw the bottom thigh up. Notice where you feel the stretch of it all. Maybe your elbow can kind of push the thigh out a little bit further. Any clasp that feels okay or the support underneath the foot if needed or the strap. But are you free? Are you letting go of where there's tightness, any tension? Yeah, bring your attention there so the energy can flow. Now a little roll if your left ankle is up, a little roll to the right and release again out through the hip that's stretching. Yeah, release from the waist out, more space there. Maybe turn the head in the opposite direction of, the, well, yeah, if you're rolling the thighs to the right, look to the left. And this does lead nicely into a little roll side to side. Mm, nice deep breath, softening or pause in the middle again. Mm, and when about ready, yeah, let's place the right foot down to yonder, left leg up to the sky with a nice ankle rotation. Yeah, open those toes. Ooh, mine are a little cold. <laughs> 
reversing the circle at any time, but go slowly. It's it's not, oh yeah, three circles in one direction, three in the other, and then you're done. No, no, no. We're, we're seeing, we're feeling, we're kind of like massaging from the inside out. Isn't I think your whole yoga practice is that massaging from the inside out. Mm -hmm. So when we're about ready, uh, let's exhale, reaching the heel to the beautiful blue sky, flexing. Mm -hmm. I notice the calves, the shins, hamstrings. Yeah, maybe shake out this leg again, or the quick wrist rub, or tapping, maybe all three or four, <laughs> what I'm saying. Tapping, as I've mentioned in other classes, is, is very um, abundant in other energy practices of Tai Chi, Qigong, uh, may to name a few, <laughs> energy medicine. Oh, so when about ready to settle into your reclining hamstring stretch, again, if you're using a strap, as I mentioned a few more <laughs> times earlier, uh, yeah, to put at the ball of the foot up on it and then relax the shoulders down. I know some people like to hold down lower and then pull um, or just maybe elbows down rather than stretching arms. So I can go where it's comfortable. I'm kind of suggesting not the pulling motion, but just the allowing. Allow the elbows to drop, allow the shoulders to drop. So you're concentrating more on the letting go. Yeah, breathing into the hamstrings, softening there. Close your eyes, using your powerful visualization to see. And they say that it's the same brain activity, whether you see the color red or imagine the color red. Wow. I think we're much more powerful than we even imagine. <laughs> so let's imagine ourselves being that powerful. Absolutely, letting go. Make sure the back of the knee feels good. Maybe stretch your supporting leg longer. Reach out to the crown, opposite lines of energy, honoring your body's messages. Seeing how body parts are related to each other is yes, you relax not only the jaw, but the root of your tongue, and then the jaw, and then the neck, and the back, and the hamstring. Ah, stretch reflex, calming down as you breathe into the belly more, right? Feel the expansion. Feel the release. Maybe in a gentle sigh. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. When about ready for the sit-up posture, yeah, let's bring that up. right foot back to the earth to prepare. We press down to feel the rebound of energy up through the leg, up through the crown. Lengthening, inhaling, your exhale takes you into the posture. Reaching up to your ankle, chest thigh, thigh chest, reaching maybe lifting the supporting foot, maybe not. Maybe it feels great to hover, maybe not. So then you just put it, place it back down. But the exhale, navel is squeezing to the front of the spine. A little more vigorous of an exhale in our sit-up posture. Still expand on the inhale, the sides of the ribs more expanding. And exhale into your courage. The courage in your confidence is always there. We just awaken. Yeah. Maybe crossing the wrists, elbows way out to the side, opens the back of the heart. Mm, still like stretching your hamstrings. Yeah. <laughs> Another deep breath. And yeah, let's place the foot down and exhale. Lift the lifted leg higher as you roll the back down. Ah, and shake out this leg. Yep, say thank you. And place both feet back to the earth. Oh, look, wiggle room. Preparing for bridge posture now that our legs are nicely active, ready to support us. 
So arms down by your side, feet hips width apart, knees over ankles to scoop it on up on the inhale. And your sacrum is kind of like a scoop. So you might imagine that scooping up, lifting each vertebra one by one. Mm, to the height that feels really good. And the exhale slowly down. Still lengthen out through the crown, out through the tailbone. If you do not need your arms for support, as we did yesterday, we lifted the arms up with us. Overhead, timing breath and movement together as one. So as you finish your exhale, you thin it, uh, you lower down, not only in the spine now, but also your arms. If that felt good, yeah, let's do that again when the arms are down or lifting up with you. Keep the knees over ankles. Inner thighs active, releasing down slowly. And for the strengthening phase of the bridge, we lift on up, keep the arms down for now, lifting on up to the height that feels really good. Mm, keep that posture alive with your breath. In, exhale. Feel the inhale, lifting the heart, maybe palms rolling upward. Shoulder blades a little closer together, one by one. Yep, knees over ankles, inner thighs active, or maybe interlace fingers and chest expansion arms. Feels good. Another few breaths. Remember, if this does not feel good, what should you do? Well, yeah, you should honor those messages and place the palms back down and roll back down. And then maybe back up again. You can hold postures longer or come out sooner and then go back into them. Hmm, another breath here to slowly release and then inhale, exhale as you roll back down. Each vertebra one by one by one by one. And thighs to the chest to circle both knees around. Hmm, another deep breath. Oh, to strengthen the core again, let's place the arms back down. Reverse the circle either with knees bent or you can reverse the circle with legs straight and in the largest circle that you're able for the core. Yeah, that feels comfortable, doable. <laughs> and maybe reverse that circle again. This strengthens the core in all these different, yeah, little different directions there. Hmm. Then a little rock and roll, hug behind the knees. We're going to rock on back and inhale forward. Come up and then exhale, core strong from the spine. Tune in so the knees kind of straighten as you exhale back. And then inhale, tuck in like the pump uh, of the legs on a, like on, on a swing. Exhale, rock it back. Inhale, rock it forward. One more time. Okay, exhale, rock it back. Inhale to lift. And feet to the earth, coming to your seated posture. For right now, any seated posture, maybe crossing the legs, your ankles, or feet before you. As I've mentioned, yeah, my knee doesn't bend like that. So I'm putting my feet before me, or you can cross, yeah. Mm, and sitting tall, yes, tall as can be. And what I mean by that, is that still that opposite line of energy? Crown reaching up, tailbone reaching to the earth. Mm, and an exhale to lower the chin. Slowly inhale, ear to shoulder for a neck rotation. This time we're going to exhale as we lift up to the sky. Inhale, ear to shoulder. Keeping the other shoulder down. Exhale, chin in and down. Now hands at the knees and reversing when you're ready. Inhale, ear to shoulder, lifting on up and exhale, <laughs> ear to shoulder and another breath, chin in and down. And back to center for a shoulder roll. Sometimes simple things feel so good. Yeah, shoulder, especially re releasing your neck and shoulder tension when you're concentrating and, or typing and not the computer or whatever. Yeah, there's a lot that goes on. So rolling shoulders forward and up and back and down. Fingertips now at the shoulders. 
elbows reach up and way back and down and around and full arms. Inhale and exhale, reversing the shoulder roll, just the shoulders. Squeeze to inhale, lift up, exhale forward and down. Fingertips at the shoulders, elbows reach way back, inhaling all the way up to the sky and exhale. They can even touch and forward and back. And then full arms to stretch high to the sky. From here, we're going to reach up through that right side and then exhale to the left. A nice side stretch. Your right hand, oh, this is your left hand, <laughs> can go into the earth. Push into the floor. Maybe I'm outside of your hip. Mm, as it pushes in, do you feel your right hip down? Do you need yeah, more separation out of the waist, reaching out to all your fingers, maybe looking upward? If your left elbow is bent, yeah, you might bend it into the body, not out. And then when you're ready to rise above it all, inhale, exhale, and then change the cross of your legs. Your ankles can be crossed, legs crossed, or maybe heels aligned with each other. Actually, see how that feels? Have your right heel, left heel. Other side, still lengthen. We align our physical alignment, energy alignment. We inhale to lengthen out of the waist and exhale. Have you noticed we exhale into our stretching posture? Arching posture, we usually inhale too. So press the hand down into the earth. That helps to stretch that left hip down. Mm, nice openness of the side. Nothing like a good side stretch. Mm, reaching out to all the fingertips. Yeah. Another breath here. Maybe a little lean forward. See how that feels different than just directly side. I just want to make sure you're not leaning back as well. Yeah. Another deep breath. Inhale and exhale. And let's just stretch both legs before us. Side stretch. Oh, forward. Yeah. So let's take forward head to knee today. Let's stretch our right leg long and the left sole of the foot. To your inner thigh as much as you're able. And then bring your left, that is your right hip, bring the right hip back a little bit. Right hip is back till you're lying your chest over your thigh. And then on the inhale, again, we prepare, we lift, we lengthen, and then tipping the pelvis forward, we exhale. So we're not bending from the waist forward. It's the tip of the pelvis reaching out long until we can't reach any further with a flat back, long spine. Then we can relax the arms and then relax the shoulders, level shoulders, relax your neck, your mind, letting go. Yeah, letting go of maybe some of those busyness thoughts, let it go and breathe deep. And soften your foot can point, flex, or any other variation. The knee usually stays up, kneecap to the sky. See where your body is saying, oh, I'm a little tight here. And soften there, send the breath there. Like water through the garden hose squirted right there. Yeah, your breath loves to let go. It, that's its job it, and it loves to bring in the nourishment and the healing. And it loves to let go of the tension, tightness, softening. And when about ready, we're going to roll on up, walk the hands up the thighs. And then shake out both legs. Oh, you might notice one leg is a little longer than the other. So let's get to the other side. So again, your, uh, your other side, yeah, stretch. Most of us, I guess, we're working on now stretching the left leg, uh, right sole of the foot into your inner thigh, which I cannot do. I'm just explaining that, uh, the sole of the foot to your inner thigh or place it wherever it may be. But do pull back that left hip again to align your chest over your thigh. 
And we're going to inhale, in the case sideways, we're going to inhale again to lengthen, reach high, and then tipping the pelvis forward. The pelvis tips forward, so your tailbone is reaching back. So it's not around at the waist. I want to emphasize that. Yeah. So we're inhaling once again, exhale, tipping the pelvis forward until it feels right for you. Some of us might be draping the chest over the thigh, but when, it, when the back needs, uh oh, can't go any further in a flat back situation, then relax the arm, relax the shoulder, relax your head, relax your mind. Oh yeah, your mind, energy of the mind, energy of your thoughts, oh my gosh. Our yoga practice helps to bring more calm and peace to the mind as we become more mindful. Time to let go now, level the shoulders, pointing foot, flexing foot. Ooh, does that feel good when you reach out to the heel? I know some of us might even be so lengthened over that we can even clasp around the sole of the foot. So wherever your clap, your hands relax to, yeah, that's that's the place for you to take another deep breath. Soften, soften. And when ready, yeah, we're gonna roll, <laughs> walk the hands up, roll it on up. Uh, and just shake out those legs again. And let's, yeah, let's come to our hands and knees, shall we? Okay, for the arm and leg balance. So shoulders right over the wrists, or if wrists do not like this, you can come into fists, thumbs facing forward. And we're going to inhale slowly, maybe your right arm and left leg, opposite arm and leg off the floor. Feel the core active, thumb is up to the sky and your back leg is flexed. Another deep breath, we're gonna lift a little higher into a cat breath here. We're going to exhale by pushing away the floor, navel up and in, elbow, knee, forehead. Inhale to lengthen out through the fingers, out through the toes. And once again, exhale, pull it all in. So push away the floor, abdomen is up and in on the exhale. Inhale, stretches from the navel center, out through the fingers, out through the toes. And then back to all fours. Now, if that was a little shaky, <laughs> you can always place the hand down and then go into cat breath, pushing with both hands into the floor, forehead to knee on this side. So let's see how it goes. So starting from arm and leg balance, or sometimes called sunbird, we're going to stretch other opposite arm and leg, lifting off the floor, press away the floor. So you're not sinking into your supporting shoulder. Another deep breath here to lift a little higher, reaching out of the way and exhale now into cat breath, whether both hands down or elbow knee forward. Inhale to stretch out through the fingers, out through the toes. And once again, exhale, pull it all in, push away the, inhale to stretch out through the fingers, out through the toes. And inhale, exhale back to all fours. <sighs> Let's tuck those toes under, shall we? And push away the floor into our downward facing dog. Stretch the fingers, inner elbows toward each other. Shoulder blades flat against the back. Neck is long. And your ears are kind of by the other, your upper arms. And let's rise to all the toes. And then bend the knees and stretch that tailbone where the ceiling meets the wall. And then walking the dog. One heel down, other knee bending. So slowly, side to side, alternating in the heels, knees. <laughs> and then push your way to floor. Ah, both heels reaching to the earth. And from here, as we did yesterday, Let's widen the legs. Yeah, feet wide apart, but your hands are still before you in a wide angle downward facing dog. 
yeah, the pigeon toe in a little bit. Uh, if you need to bring the hands in a little bit, okay, but they're still before you. Yeah, push away the floor. Be careful, shoulders like to come forward over your wrist, but in downward facing dog and wide angle facing dog. Yeah, we push away the way back. Ah, nice stretch for the legs, a little different. And kind of a wiggle through them here. <laughs> wiggle the hips to the right or to the left. Hmm. And then center. And speaking of spinal twists, um, yeah, let's walk the hands back right underneath our face, more or less. And then just place your right hand down right in front of your nose, shoulder over the wrist for actually a spinal twist. So we're going to inhale and then exhale into the twist by lifting your other arm up to the sky. Push away the floor with the bottom hand or, or fist too. Lengthening, looking upward. Another deep breath here. Inhale and untwist on the exhale. Replace the other hand where the other one was. Kind of fingers just move. Again, so your bottom hand is kind of like the peak of the triangle. Your base is the line from one foot to the other and your hand is the peak. And then inhale, exhale as you twist to the other side. Reaching up to the sky, push away the floor. Feel both legs long into the earth. Another deep breath. And exhale, untwist, and then just go into a wide angle forward fold. So the hands can walk back. You can clasp elbows, a little sway, or clasping ankles. Feel the weight of your head. Yeah, shake it out. <laughs> Another deep breath here. Exhale. And then let's wiggle the feet back hip width apart underneath us. And we're going to roll up slowly, slowly, slowly. We can walk the hands up or let the arms hang. Rolling up to a standing posture. <sighs> to adjust if need be. Yeah. Mm, nice deep breath. Yeah, standing tall. We feel the feet again into the earth. That hasn't changed. Has, yeah. Even on two legs, feel the weight distribution underneath the big toe joints, little toe joints, heels. Ah, tailbone reaching to the earth. Crown of the head high. Feel just the width of your shoulders. And the deep breath. The deep breath, bringing it all together, feeling also the difference from lying down, seated, kneeling, and our head lower than our hearts, <laughs> and now standing. Very different in the energy feel of it all. And bringing down the heavens kind of brings it into balance again. If you wish, yeah, palms out from the side. We're going to inhale to scoop the energy from the earth and around us and above us, palms facing downward, exhaling all tension away. Simple as that, inhale, bring in what does, the energy of the earth, the heavens above and exhale, whatever the tension may be, disappointment, uh, yeah, <laughs> confusion, let it go, inhale. Well, just in general, exhale away any negativity or anything that does not serve. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. One more time. Bring it down the heavens. Deep breath and exhale. Ah, and then feet together for crescent moon. Oh, there's been a beautiful full moon in the sky. It's already a waning, or is it waxing? It's <laughs> going to get small. Yeah, amazing. The energy of the moon. Actually, ha tha yoga, ha meaning sun, and I mean ha meaning moon, and the tha meaning sun. It's kind of like the balance of the energies, the sun and the moon. Uh, balancing. Yeah, it's amazing. Ha tha. So let's inhale here for crescent moon. We're going to hook the thumbs and just lean the hips to.
to one side and reach to the other. Mm, so the hips are off center. You can, your hand can come to the hip if that feels more supportive for you. But do breathe. You can look forward, breath to the sky, squaring shoulders and hips forward. Very two dimensional. Maybe lean the whole torso a little forward though. And another breath to rise above it all. And exhale, leaning the hips in the other direction. Maybe hand at the hip if that feels good. Try to feel the underside long. Yeah, it's very easy just to crunch it. Yeah, we're trying to lengthen even more, believe it or not. <laughs> yes, we can open new spaces within. What a novel idea to have the energy to flow for nurturing, for healing. Another deep breath to inhale, to rise above it all. Rising above it all. Okay, so let's open the arms out and then press away the floor to rise to your toes or almost to your toes, ankles together. Inner thighs are active, balancing, yeah. Heels are off the floor. Oh, okay, good, good. And then if you need a little more challenge and balancing, close your eyes. Yeah, without the use of your eyesight, it's amazing how challenging that is for your body, but just the intrinsic muscles are working. Yeah, a little more. Yeah. Ankles together, inner thighs active too. Yeah, core, good, breathing. And then exhale, slowly open the eyes if there were closed heels down. Ah, so let's open wide, shall we, our legs? Yeah, let's continue with uh, Warrior Two. Uh, and yesterday we also included extended side angle after reverse warrior. So again, the width of your feet, that can change. Sometimes it needs to be a little bit closer in. Sometimes it can be a little wider, but you would never go wider. Um, as I will demonstrate here, of course, our left toes are gonna angle outward 90 degrees. Ah, look at my big feet, you can see. <laughs> well, they're not that, I can. <laughs> Uh, and your heel intersecting the middle of your back arch. Remember your back foot, that angles in a little bit. Is that like 15 degrees or so? But if your knee is over your ankle here and it feels comfortable, yeah, then you might open the legs a little wider. Uh, but if your thigh is already parallel to the floor, I would not put your legs any wider than that. No, ideally that's what we're kind of working for. Thigh more parallel. Mine is not, uh, but this is feeling good for me today. So, um, so if your leg is already parallel to the floor, I would not go any wider. Okay, so feet. Let's go back to the feet, shall we? Because I want to emphasize it's the support. Your alignment is 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 crucial. <laughs> it makes such a difference to the way you practice, just not what you practice. So. Our hips are level, waist is level. Again, heel of your left foot intersects the middle of your back arch. And yeah, arms. Yeah, we're going to float them up, reach out to the fingertips so they float on the inhale. Now relax the shoulders, elbows, wrist, fingers. The exhale stretches the knee over ankle joint. You can peek down at it, make sure, yeah, maybe the kneecap too, pointing in second, third toe. Mm, drop the tail, crown high, feel both legs into the earth, both feet, all your 10 toes, gazing softly, sometimes translated as the blessed hero. To be the hero of your life, to be, to, yeah, to, um, Live to your capabilities and your responsibilities with ease, with strength, with courage, with confidence, with gentleness. Into the feet, into the earth, so that we can look into reverse warrior, lifting up from the waist, down from the waist, still keeping pelvis level. Walking fingertips down or maybe wrapping around the waist. Palm is open. Yeah, to the back. Maybe that feels good. 
this, that, that does not feel good. I would just walk the fingers, but not to lean on the bottom arm. Yeah, we don't lean, we just oh, drape or wrap. It's called spinal twister, <laughs> which does it kind of brings up the chest a little more open. Ooh. Inhale. And keeping the knee right over the ankle still, we exhale. Let's reverse those arms kind of. <laughs> but the palm open at the knee, top arm reaching away from the waist in extended side angle. Down from the waist. Yeah, up from the waist, looking straight ahead or up at the sky above. Yep, knee still over the ankle. How's that? Breathing, breathing here, another two to three breaths. Feeling where you're working too hard. Yeah, you can soften, but feel where you need the strength. And I think your body will naturally strengthen there. Sometimes it does over what it needs. Hmm, another deep breath, inhale, exhale, press down the back leg up through the top arm. Stretch both legs and relax. Wow. So let's turn those toes in, just a breath in between. And other side. So let's turn our right toes out 90 degrees, left toes in. And how does the width of your legs feel? A little wider or maybe not too wide? So see how it feels, adjust if you need to. <laughs> hmm, feel your arches lifted. Sometimes it's very easy, especially for the back foot, to roll over on your arch. So make sure you feel the outside edges of the feet also to the earth as the arches are lifted. And not to lift the arms here. We're going to float, almost reach them longer, long, longer as they float upward. Yeah. Lifting is too much energy. Uh, and then an inhale, we exhale, stretch both legs apart. Feel the inner thigh stretching. Yeah, knee right over your ankle. Hmm, nice deep breath here. Tailbone rooted down, crown of the head high, soft gaze. Yeah, keep your gaze soft because if you stare, if you begin to stare, you'll notice that the breath is a little bit more difficult to be slow and deep. As an experiment, yeah, squint your eyes. Squint them, yeah. <laughs> and does it feel a little um, difficult to breathe slow and deep? Yeah, soften the gaze. Another deep breath. Keep the back arch lifted still, yes. And then reversing the warrior, we lift up to the beautiful blue sky. Reverse warrior blends the energy, the support, and, and the foundation beneath us. And we'll talk more about the foundation and support beneath us. Uh, I think we're going to start next week, uh, starting with the energy center. It's called the seven major ones, anyway, of the chakras. Uh, yeah, for the root chakra. Yeah, feeling the support. As we did on the first side too, you might wrap that arm around the waist, palm is open. So the palm is facing the back. Still keep the knee over the ankle. Lifting to the beautiful blue sky, blending the energy from the earth to the heavens above, the joy. Hmm. Open heart, another deep breath. Inhale, then exhale as we shift the arms here into extended side angle. So your whole side is long here. Whole, uh, palm open at the knee joint. Some of you that are wider in your stance, maybe forearm pressed against the side, but it's not a prop. Yeah. <laughs> Again, you're not propping with the bottom. You're lengthening both sides of the body. I know the underside gets a little squished sometimes. So we should Try to lengthen that as much as we're able. Mm, and feel the strength where needed. Feel where you can relax. Yeah, not to work too hard here. <laughs> Using just the right edge. 
Another inhale and exhale. Coming around up to center, stretch both legs. And let's come to center, bringing both feet in and out, in and out, right underneath us again. Maybe a little chikung bounce, just to yeah, let everything be as loose as can be. I know I'm emphasizing just to bring in the strength that's required, no more, no less. But sometimes we go overboard sometimes, yeah. And this also helps not only to relax, good bouncing, good, yeah, get the knees bouncing. Yeah, even if your heels can lift up and down, up and down, neck is free, that you are that bobble toy on the dashboard of your car. Your lymph, very good for your immune system. So this is really a wonderful daily practice. <laughs> so it's everything, your whole yoga practice daily. Something, breathing, being mindful. Yeah, deep, deep, deep breath. Ah, rest, you feel? Do you feel the buzz within? Close your eyes. Yeah, close your eyes for bamboo in the wind. Bamboo in the wind closes our eyes. Yeah, and we feel inside without the use of that eyesight. To help balance, we start to sway at times and just allow, allow the sway. Yeah, trees, when the wind blows, they don't, they don't hold still. They don't resist. They go with the flow. The bamboo flows with the wind. Mm, tailbone still rooted, crown high. And gently coming back to center. Yeah, open the eyes. Mm, and yesterday, speaking about balance and trees and the wind, <laughs> Uh, we did a forward tree. So let's take the forward balancing tree um, again. Sure, why not? So speaking of eye focus, as I've already mentioned how different that is, if you're squinting or if you're closing your eyes or gazing softly, that helps with your balance too. And now whenever we balance on one leg, by all means, you can go to the wall or to a chair, maybe to help too. Absolutely. So standing on two feet, that's a good place to start, isn't it? And find your one point of focus. And that's why I know some of you are dancers. And when you see dancers um, spiral or even ice skaters, when they circle around uh, and, and they you see their heads, or sometimes you don't with ice skaters. Sometimes they take their, I don't know how they do that. But yeah, they, they're spotting. It's called spotting. As, as they turn, they are looking at one point. And then even before they turn around to the whole thing, their head comes around to focus again at that one point. That helps their balance as they're spinning around. Yep. Okay. Maybe you didn't need to know that. <laughs> but yeah. So we're going to look at that one point of focus. Shift the weight to one foot of your support. The arms can float up because they help with balance too, don't they? like the tightrope walker with the long pole. Yeah, helping with balance. Mm, and your other foot right now can lift off or yeah, test it. See how your balance is doing it at this moment. And it feels pretty secure as the roots grow down into the earth to keep the trunk secure. Yeah, you can lift that knee a little higher or a little higher. Soft gaze, easy breath. Reaching the crown to the beautiful blue sky, to the sun. Mm, and maybe the branches can grow. Or maybe not. Maybe the palms can unite. Maybe the knee can lift higher. Needing more challenge, you can close your eyes. Another deep breath, maybe open them. And exhale, palms to the heart, look back to the earth. And let's shift then to the other side. Roots are growing down for security, for your support. Arms float. Mm, one point of focus. Breathe. Put on, put off. You might notice one leg is maybe a little easier than the other. Some days are easier than the other to do this. So if the toes can lift off, let the knee lift, the thigh lift. Forward tree. Hmm. And if this feels great, yeah, then to continue with the arms 
high, shoulders down. Maybe palms unite, maybe eyes closed if needing more challenge. But do breathe, feel the nourishment from the earth as you reach up for the nourishment above. Then gently exhale, palms to the heart and coming back to the earth. Then relax the arms and the feet, maybe your shoulders width apart for a gentle sway, side to side, tapping, tapping, getting the energy mm, to flow. Again, kidney energy, knocking at life's door. Your life vitality awakened. You can look back over your shoulder, mm, or maybe not. Tapping in front and in back. And also with the front hand, you can tap lung energy. So you can tap and wrap and tap up higher. And in Chinese medicine, the lungs hold sadness and grief. And even if you don't have any sadness or grief, it's just nice to get the energy flowing. And this brings again more energy, lung energy, yeah, strong. Mm, so we breathe. And if that feels good, tap away there or around the waist again. So it's just much more than just, oh, tapping around, tapping around. No, it's the energy that we're oh, focusing in on. Yeah. And back to center, relax. And, and that's a whole thing that sometimes we're not made even aware of. I mean, sometimes we feel it, oh, yeah, I'm tired. Oh, no, I have energy. But then in a more subtle or a level, and that's what we're gearing up to. So speaking of energy level, breath of joy, three sniffs in, and that exhale just swings on down, again, releasing all that you do not need. So you can make this very particular to yourself, uh, breathing in peace, more joy, more love, and then exhale, disappointment, anger, resentment, or whatever, whatever it is. You ready? I wouldn't think about it too much, but most importantly, to breathe. And, and sometimes your breath will bring in what you already need. It knows more than um, I think we know. <laughs> so as loose as you can be, we're going to swing those arms forward. First sniff, <sighs> ready to go with the, and on side, and the sniff, and release. Swing it out, coming up, and, and. Come forward and south and up. Exhale, coming up a little faster and up. Exhale and up and up and up. One more time and and all the way down. Okay, all the way down, all the way down, and just let's bring our legs forward. Ah, no, that's very invigorating too. To, and a, and a, and a, you can always do that without even swinging. You can do that seated in your car. You can, oh yeah, wait a minute. Maybe you shouldn't drive and do this at the same time. No, 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 <laughs> in your car. No, I would just, whether you're seated at your desk at home or something. But from here, let's just tip our fingertips right underneath our butt, just to open our hearts before our relaxation in fish posture. So we're going to lower to one elbow, lower to the other elbow, and lift the heart. The legs scooch forward, down in the elbows, lift the heart, lift the face, and let the head not completely just hang back, but relax the head back. But don't cut off your air supply unless you keep your throat long. Deep breath in, open the heart. And now we'll exhale, just to bend the knees, feet to the floor, chin in. <laughs> and then we're gonna roll on down, chin into the chest, bend the knees, and then roll thighs to the chest. Ah, and the circle both knees around again. Hmm, maybe another shake up to the sky, just get everything loose. And feet back to the earth, any little wiggle room here before your relaxation, maybe a little baby bridge. There may be a little roll of the knees right or left. 
Roll the head side to side. Oh, whether the knees stay bent or legs straighten, maybe palms up in the gesture of surrender, or again, anywhere else you feel comfortable. I don't know if you have a little pillow for your head, just a little, a little one. Yeah. But I invite you to breathe. Feel the breath. Feel your inhale. Yeah. Well, is it moving? Do you feel the cool inhale? And as you exhale, does it feel warmer? Do you feel your belly moving back, expanding on the inhale, or not so much? And just to observe it. Yeah, just to observe. I'd recommend, yes, slowing it down and deepening. Mm, yeah, it's truly all about the breath. Yeah, and to notice, notice throughout your day, how, how are you breathing? How are you feeling? A little anxious or, or stressed? Yeah, notice how you're breathing and maybe consciously change the breath to deeper, slower, and then notice how you may feel. Yeah, just throughout the day. Mm. And now it's time to go deeper, deeper into the state of being. No place to go, nothing to do, just to be, to nurture yourself, to give yourself this gift of nurturing, of healing. As you let go now, yeah, notice your face your forehead, your scalp. Can you relax your scalp? Yeah, let it hang loosely against your skull. Mm, relax your mind, breathe. Your forehead, yeah, melting away any tension there. Allow your right eye, your left eye to relax. Relax your ears, inside your ears. Whole, a whole other world in there. Yeah, going into your brain. Oh, yeah, let your brain function with ease. Mm. Relaxing your face, your beautiful face, your cheeks, your nose, your mouth, your lips, mm, or maybe a gentle smile. Head resting upon the earth, notice your neck softening, the front, the sides, the back of your neck. Ah, relaxing shoulders, all burdens are released on top of the shoulders. The breath flow through your shoulder joints, elbow joints, wrists. Feel the warmth of the energy in the palms of your hands and allow that warmth to travel out through each fingertip like ribbons of light shining. Mm. Feel your spinal column breathing with ease, energy flowing. So the back can relax now. Your lower back breathing into the earth, your middle back, the back of their heart. Maybe feel the back of the neck again, stretching, exhaling, softening. Feel the support of earth energy right there. Mm. And now feel your belly rise and fall with each breath, massaging all your internal organs, allowing them to function with ease. Saying thank you to your liver for purifying 64 ounces of your blood in the last minute. Thanking your kidneys, your spleen. Mm. Deep breath. And relaxing the pelvis. Buttocks muscles soften. Yeah. So now your hip joints can be free. Energy flowing to your thighs, right thigh, left thigh. Allow your knee, knees to both be open, free, and clear of any tension inside. Kneecaps floating. Back's knees relaxing. 
trunks of the knees, inner, outer. Mm, and a deep breath to become aware of your calves and shin muscles. Are they already relaxed? Or they, can they let go a little further, soften? Breathing down through your ankle joints, your feet, your toes, soles of the feet, tops of the feet. Yeah, breathing out through all your 10 toes, thick ribbons of light. Mm, and a deep breath from the earth up to your legs, up to the crown of your head, breathing in earth energy that heals and exhale back down to release another layer of tension. Be gone. Inhaling up through the legs, up through the crown, and exhale back down. Another layer of tension, be gone. And continue to breathe, continue to heal, continue to let go so the healing can go deeper as you truly surrender to this posture of relaxation. Taking another slow, deep breath to allow every cell to remember a more peaceful, calmful way of being in this world. Mm, so when about ready, just with a little wiggle of fingers and toes to awaken into this special moment. Mm, circling wrists and ankles. A nice yawn to stretch arms and legs. Ah, a little roll to the right or to the left. You might curl up there for a few moments. <laughs> and when about ready, yeah, coming to your seated posture to seal in the practice. Mm, again, see tall tailbone, crown of the head high with an inhale to scoop the energy from the earth and around us and above us in perfect blending harmony and exhale this energy all back home to your loving open heart. I thank you, keep it going. You can listen to the recordings daily, <laughs> yeah, uh, and some people are. And I just thank you for um, being here and just again, giving yourself this gift. And namaste. Again, any questions, please let me know. Uh, I'll be reminding you maybe of office hours too. <laughs> uh, and you can schedule that at any time if you rather do something like that or email me or whenever, whatever feels right for you. So again, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. And namaste. <laughs>